We moved into this house in May of 2021, so it's been well over a half a year, so there's no excuse why this storage room looks totally unacceptable. I guess behind closed doors, it's easy to forget that in this mess, you have the Lewitt LCT 540 Sub-Zero just waiting to be taken back into your new office that is right there and onto the couch in your new office to be unboxed again as it was neatly packed away. It's a beautiful microphone. So, as I unbox it again, as I've used this before, you're hearing it. That's the only microphone you'll hear in this video with voice. Welcome into my den where I do my work every day as a freelance voiceover talent and video maker guy. Undo the, the Neumann TLM 103, my everyday microphone and test this bad boy out for the last time. I found that this mic is absolutely stunning in a way that when you plug it in and test it out, it's incredible, and I'll go over that. But there's something about this microphone that is just romantic. I don't know. Putting it back together, as I haven't used it for a while, reminds me of how I really do love this mic. Now it's plugged in. Hey! So, once you get past the $200, $300, $400, $500 dollar price range on condenser microphones, such as this, you start to judge them differently. Basically, at a certain price point, it's always, hey, this sounds great for what it costs. But most people who are buying microphones for the first time or even the third time are probably in the price range of one, two, three, four hundred dollars. Now this LCT540 sub zero, well, we're getting up to six ninety nine at the time of making this video. So, you know, you're looking at seven hundred dollars, which is significant in the amount of money that most people are going to pay for microphones. Now, every day I use a, a one thousand eleven hundred or, or so dollar microphone, which is this guy right here. So naturally, once I spend a little money on a microphone that's not the most expensive microphone I've ever bought, but one of the most, I start to get a bit critical of how it sounds. Now, like I said, at first you plug it in, it sounds great, and I am shocked by the amount of gain that this thing takes. This takes only about 80% the amount of gain that my Neumann takes. I'm gonna put my gain on my US, uh, my um, Universal Audio Apollo Solo at about noon, sometimes right around one clock depending on the use case um, for most voiceover type of stuff. Uh, this is only going to go to about 11 o'clock or so. If you want a super quiet mic that requires next to no gain, this thing is by far the most impressive as far as that goes. That's the thing that jumps out. It's absolutely clear. It's absolutely sensitive. So you want to make sure you're in a very treated space such as this place that I'm in right now which a whole nother video will talk about how I mismanaged my new studio and got in a hurry and just ended up throwing random bits of foam up everywhere until I found that it sounded okay. So right now, I think it sounds okay. It's definitely far from perfect. The thing that I don't love about this microphone, and I'm going to put my headphones on so I can monitor it at the same time. I've got a sibilant S. Maybe I should do speech therapy and, and try to figure that out. But for now, it's the microphone's going to pick up the S's on me just really badly. Now, the, 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 what I struggle with is the S's and also wanting clarity. I love the clarity that is going to capture every nuance and characteristic of someone's voice. I just 
I love that. So this mic does that. Maybe this mic does that a little too much, but maybe not. So what I usually do when I'm using a microphone is I don't use this. I'll use the mesh pop filter or I'll use in this case, this thing that just slides on, which I don't know if you've seen that with Lewitt. They have their own pop filters included, which I think is really, it's great. It's, it's another perk of having a Lewitt microphone. Now I avoid these because this will take away some of the clarity that the microphone has to off offer. So I haven't thought of this until just now that maybe the reason why that this microphone isn't perfect for me is because, well, maybe it's too clear. Maybe this is the solution. So I'll find out right now and put this on for the first time as something that I usually avoid. So let me just slide this on real quick. And that slides right on. And already I can kind of tell, let me know what you think down in the comments, um, if this is much more pleasant in hearing my voice as hard as it is to hear for some of you anyway. I know I don't have the best voice. So my thought was I spent a lot of money on this, so I'm just probably gonna sell it on eBay and uh, consider it like I just use the mic for a while and go back to using this, but maybe I'll give it a little bit more time and maybe this is a mic that'll hold on to. I'm definitely having second thoughts because when we throw this thing into the music mix, you're going to hear that clarity and you're going to be able to put it into a different type of use case and hear how it sounds. So, so I found this instrumental on audio blocks and I was inspired. Um, so I just wrote some lyrics and sang along a tune about uh, committing a robbery and heading on down to Mexico. So I hope you enjoy it. Or don't. I'm gonna rob your dumbass blind I'm out to do things that are unkind I'm out to take what is not mine Cause I'm robbing your dumbass blind So don't tell anybody a text Mexico and I rob ya dumbass blind I'm drinking I'm not thinking I'm doing what I want I'm doing as I please I'm robbing you cause the money that I want is the money that I need so get down on your knees I'm going to rob your dumbass blind Whoa, rob your dumbass blind So don't tell anybody in Texaco That I'm heading on down to Mexico And I'll rob your dumbass blind Okay, so one thing to note is that the gain on this when I'm singing out is at 25%. Not 35, not 45, not 50%. We're talking 25%. I did the first take at about 35% and I was clipping like crazy, even pulling back as far as I could from the microphone. So one thing to note, if you want the quiet mic, if you want the clarity, if you want um, just something that's going to shock you a little bit about how little gain it actually takes and how powerful this thing is, man, it's incredible. So I feel like I almost like the, the, the singing vocals on this microphone better than I like my Neumann, but I like my Neumann better for voiceover, but I don't know. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Is this thing too much? Is it too clear? Or is throwing this foam filter on there all right? Maybe it's not great for my voice. Maybe it's not bad. Maybe it's perfect for you. I don't know. That's all I have for you today. We'll catch you later.